Hello and welcome to What The Hey, where I'm your regular host of What The Hey, and today on What The Hey, I am once again reacting to yet another requested video. Today's video request comes from Pep Z, so hello to you and thank you very much for requesting today's video. The video in question that I'm checking out today is titled, A Bizarre Lost Kids Show, The Search for Pink Morning Cartoon, Blame It on Jorge, which was uploaded on September 4th of 2020. The video duration is 20 minutes and 2 seconds, and the video description provides timestamps on the video and social media links. The video itself was uploaded by Blame It on Jorge, so hello to you and thank you very much for creating your video. Like with all of my reaction videos, if there's something in this video that I feel may disturb someone to some degree, I'll be sure to mention it in the video description, so feel free to check that out before watching the rest of the video. But now that that's out of the way, let's actually watch the video itself. This video is brought to you by Hunter Killer. Have never heard of if that. You're like me, who enjoys a good game night with the boys. The boys. Hunter Killer is the product for you. Boys. Hunter Killer is a murder mystery box Ooh. with a story that's told over the course of six episodes. You'll be given clues, physical items, and details about a true crime case mm. and its suspects to huh. see if you have what it takes to solve the mystery. Personally, I love puzzle games and detective shows like Sherlock or Death Note, mm. and I've never seen a board game that encapsulates that thrill of solving a mystery like this That's one. That's like those game rooms you can go or do. prefer to play with friends for a fun game night, this game can appeal to everyone. I have a few of those. Each box starts at $25. That's not bad at all, bro. Okay, that's actually a really cool advertisement. Box. Very nice. Plus a portion of proceeds from every box goes to the Cold Case Foundation, an organization involved in real-life cold cases. That's cool. Again, click the link in the description below hmm. and use the code Jorge, that's J -O -R -E, Is it Jorge? To get started Jorge. On solving your Blame it on screen. Jorge. Did not Thanks know that. To Let's go. for sponsoring this video. Mysterious, okay. A few months ago, I talked about an obscure missing kid show known as the Pink Morning Cartoon. At the time, there was very little known about the show, besides a few online threads and discussions. From the few clips that were available online, the I weird the caterpillar to be thing, yes. Settling, but also fascinating. Mm. And apparently, I wasn't alone. A dedicated search team. The Discord the community, bro, always in order to helpful. Hopefully, track down more information and episodes from this strange piece of lost media. Are there so more? So today, we'll be diving down this rabbit hole to see what was uncovered. I only know two. This is the search for the pink morning cartoon. We do be searching. We do be. I like the ambience so far. Very nice. Very aesthetic. Let's go. It's kind of cool because I've watched some of the previous videos from the series, just the original stuff. So before we move forward, cool. I'd like to thank the PMC search team for compiling this information for me. I think I was involved in, in that video, a little bit. I will try to encompass what was given to me as well as my own research. I was invited to their Discord a few times, and while I'd love to join, I'm always afraid I might derail the search with my presence. Smart. I always think it's best just to leave the investigators do their thing. Hmm. Cool. Also. I'll be going off of the information from Ooh. my last video, so check that Spooky. out if you're not up to speed. But to huh. summarize, on April 3rd, 2020, a post was made on the obscure media subreddit by a user known as Rubbed Lung. That's a great username. About an anonymous bizarre public access morning kids show, later to be known as Pink Morning Cartoon. Really great video. Very spooky. Let's have a look. Are we gonna watch it? This first video seems to be a clip taken from one of their episodes. We see a family entering a hat room before the hats begin to move and Oh, sing. yes, the hats. It's been a bit since I've seen this. So obscure, but so cool at the same time. They were moving all over the room. Hats, hats, this looks like a fan-made thing, but it's apparently serious, which is Everything what I like about it. Hats be crying. That is creepy. A little weird. The second clip 
is titled using a bunch of question marks and is only a shorter, lower quality version of the first clip we Have saw. Have I seen this? So we'll just skip it. I don't think I saw that. By far the most or well-known seen clip it. from the Pink Morning cartoon is this final Coming one, up spring? Featuring a song known as Everything's Coming Up Spring. That's, that's actually what it's called, sorry. <laughs> Oh, so cool. Hmm. The filter on it is makes it very interesting as well. Like, this kind of looks like the FNAF tapes people make now, which, like, makes you think it's kind of a fan-created thing, but it's just really cool. Because someone obviously put time into this, despite how weird the animation looks. It's It's very cool. Mm. Wasn't the last name the ladies? The oh, only small bit of information available was from what little online discussion there was, and from the uploader of these clips, Jankum Chick. Mm -hmm. He claimed that he would see the show play in the early mornings of the 90s and 2000s. On Reddit, user Rub Lung stated that the show aired in Columbus, Ohio, and that it was a homemade religious show for children. Yeah, religious. That's right. Some users from the Lost Media Wiki believe that the most likely channels this show aired on were Channel 2 or Channel 53. Besides that, no one seemed to know anything else about the show. Very there were no obscure. Names attached to the program. No information about that creepy song. We didn't even know its official name. Pink Morning Cartoon is simply what everyone referred to mm. it as. Does it have an actual name? It became a mystery. And for a while, it remained a mystery. Until now, let's go. That's true. There are a lot of claims around it, which is kind of frustrating. Clearly, these clips are pretty unsettling, but also somewhat fascinating. And I wasn't alone on thinking that. The fact that they were uploaded years before the Reddit post mm -hmm. made me believe that it was unlikely to be an ARG or a hoax. Mm. However, after my video came out, some people began to think that it was a hoax or constructed by Jankum Chick himself. Yeah, like a fan thing. I thought yeah. that could be a possibility, given that the fade in and fade out transitions seemed odd for a video that was supposedly not edited. Hmm. Furthermore, others question how Jankum Chick obtained this footage. Yeah, that's a good question. He claimed that it was on an old VHS tape that he had, hmm. but how exactly? Yeah. Were all three separate clips Taped. on a single VHS tape? Yeah. Or was it originally one episode that Jankum did edit into three separate clips? Mm. Or perhaps they were from three separate VHS tapes? No one really knew. Others thought the VHS static and poor quality were manufactured or edited in. It adds to the Finally, aesthetic. There were inconsistencies kinda. within these tapes that others began to take note of. How is it that Jankum Chick had two versions of the hat room scene? One with better quality than the other. Hmm. Also, some of the transitions and scenes different? didn't match up. And even the audio was slightly off. Huh. Would not even notice. Regardless, <laughs> people began searching for more information about Pink Morning Cartoon. And much to my surprise, a lot was uncovered. That's good. I haven't heard that much like new stuff about it, so it's good. One of the most captivating things about Pink Morning is the Cartoon animation. is its song, oh, okay. Everything's Coming Up Spring. <laughs> I think the animation's so worse, the but not there. worse, just weird. Some viewers claimed that the singer's voice sounded like Ron Brown, a ventriloquist from another no. religious public access show, Joy Junction. It's someone by the... That's right, Marty. You know, I was just looking around here. Maybe I'll think of something I can talk to Jerry's dad about, but I was noticing all of these flags here. It does sound similar. The only problem with this theory is that in 2013, Ron was sentenced to 20 years in prison on oh, CP charges. That is not great. The whole story is pretty messed up. That's and horrible. won't be detailed here. Mm. Needless to say, this was that's, pretty much a dead end. That's sad. A YouTube channel called The Inspector posted this comment on the Everything's Coming Up Spring video. 
I'm pretty sure this isn't from public access, but from a religious satellite broadcast provider known as Sky Angel. Mm -hmm. They're defunct now, but they have been going since 1996. And I grew up with all these really obscure, low budget There's Christian so shows. There's so many. Aired. This was likely one of them. I don't think that's a tip that'll lead anywhere for anyone interested in mysteries, if you're here from Blaming on George. But that's just where I think I saw it. Though I wouldn't be surprised if it was also on public access, because honestly, Sky Angel original programming did sometimes come from there, or at least look like it did. Try as I might, it's almost impossible to find most segments, hmm. especially from their kids' channel. Yeah. I'm shocked whenever I find anything at all that's been preserved. Because it's so old, yeah. It's definitely hard. Especially from Later really on, obscure stuff. a 2002 stuff. promo for Sky Angel was found, and it contained a brief image of what appeared to be a show for children. Kind of looks similar. This was perhaps taken from Pink Morning Cartoon. Eh, not really. Sky Angel operated a channel known as KTV, or Kids and Teen TV. Hmm. So it made for a good starting point oh. in the search. Rip. By looking through KTV's schedule at around the time Pink Morning Cartoon would have supposedly aired, a show known as Critter Time was found. Hmm. Critter Time aired in the early mornings on KTV and could explain all the animals seen in the Everything's Coming Up Spring yeah. video. However, searchers were also able to dig up the show's description and it reads, For ages 4 to 11, Jenny K takes children on adventures to visit exotic animals. Also features segments on caring for house pets. So not the same thing? This didn't seem to match up with the house yeah. clip. There didn't appear to be a character named Jenny, and there was next to nothing about how to care for house pets. Unless the hats are pets. In fact, after looking through their archives, none of their shows had a description that matched Pink Morning Cartoon. Mm. So Sky Angel was quickly ruled out. Hmm, okay. Hmm. I was gonna say, someone by the name of Flowers, that stuck with me. I remember that. It was around this time that a Discord group dedicated to finding the Pink Morning Cartoon was forming. The team decided to look through various different TV stations in Columbus, one of which being WINJLP. Very specific. This station was owned by a person named Ella Flowers mm. and is known for playing a variety of programs, such as old public domain movies, old cartoons, and current religious programs. Hmm. What's interesting to know is that an old version of this article from 2005 says, the station is notable for its erratic technical quality, which often imparts a bizarre, disjointed, and surreal texture to its Which programming. would explain kind of the filter on for it. For whatever reason, Maybe. this line was removed in future revisions of the article, but stood out to the search team nonetheless. Pink Morning Cartoon could definitely be mm -hmm. described as yeah. bizarre, disjointed, yes. and having yes. erratic technical quality. Correct. Jankum Chick himself joined the Discord, That's cool. adamantly believing in the show's existence. When questioned about how he obtained these clips, Jankum explained that he and his friend, Maria Ork, had a hobby of recording shows and making mixtapes out of them. On the VHS things? Jankum planned on uploading more recordings, but he was out of town for the time being. Rip. His friend, however, uploaded this screenshot. Oh, and it has her name, that's right. This screenshot is of the credits hmm. from one of Pink Morning Cartoon's episodes. It's a little hard to read, but it's got Ella we can Flowers see that the credited mm -hmm. to someone named Ella Flowers. Hmm. If you recall, the station WINJLP yep. was owned by Ella Let's Flowers. Let's go connection. Let's go. Ella is a pastor and a singer-songwriter who actually narrated some of the kids' programming on that channel. Didn't she so pass away? It seemed like a solid lead. All that was needed to do now was to contact Ella. I think she in the she hopes passed of away. More episodes. I think. If only it were that simple. Searchers were quick to discover mm -hmm. an obituary yeah. for Ella Flowers online. Mm -hmm. It notes that she passed away on July 17th, 2017. 2017, wow, that was very recent. Hmm. I like how the kind of transitions kind of follow the same thing As previously of stated, the videos. One of the stations Ella owned was WINJLP. So perhaps looking through it would be our best bet. By searching through WINJLP schedule at around the date and time Pink Morning Cartoon would have aired, a cartoon known as Kids Fun Festival stood out. Maybe. With this discovery, 
one of the admins from the Discord team was able to find an archived Columbus Dispatch article from 1999. The article states, During the day, programming includes Kids Club, a mission mm. for Ella Flowers. Recently, she has worked late into the night, and sometimes all night, on a cartoon for the show. Toiling at a bank of computers across from a fish tank in her living fish room, tank? Oh, yeah. she remembers stories from her childhood and adapts them for Kate and Jeannie Jokers. So that might be the title of the Do show? Do those names ring a bell to you? Were those the kids? In if the... you remember, the kids in the Pink Morning cartoon clip are named Kate and Jean. There you go. That's a solid connection. This not only confirms the validity of the show, mm -hmm. but also that the real name of Pink Morning Cartoon is actually the TV8 Kids Fun Fest. Kids Fun Fest. <laughs> For whatever reason, the article called it Kids Club, yeah. but the team later learned of its full name. Okay. Hey, that's more than I knew. Unfortunately, the Central Ohio Association OF Christian Broadcasters, which bought the WING station, now known as WGCT, did not retain any old programming from WIMJ. Missed opportunity. Hmm. Have people been able to message people about it? Hello? What? Despite another dead end, the search so was at an all-time high. Through Ella's obituary and the archive Columbus Dispatch article, more leads and contact information was gathered. That is the creepiest like part. I do not like TV's that. Kids Fun Festival was close to being found. Contact was made with Ella Flowers' daughter, Angela Francis. Hmm. After being shown the Every Day's Coming Up Spring video, Angela said, Yes, that was my mom. That's cool. Do you know any others? This is wonderful. That's awesome. That's really After cool. After being asked if there were any more recordings available, she replied, They've been missing ever since my mother passed. But thank you, it means mm. so much. My mother wrote and did the animation for these as well as the editing. It was called the TV8 Kids Fun Fest. Unknown amount of episodes. My mom worked constantly on these. That's really Maya cool. the show. Kids loved it. That's awesome. I'm glad that Moreover, she was an interview open. was conducted with Ellis's granddaughter, Samantha, who joined the Discord server. The interview is quite long, so I'll be showing the most important bits here. That's awesome. Do you think it's likely tapes exist? They definitely do. She had many shelves full of tapes. I know of 10 different ones off the top of my head. My favorite one she kept making for me was The Adventures of Kate and Jean Joker. You have no idea how far we've searched for this thing. Do you know where the tapes are? Hmm. Unfortunately, when I talked to my mom about an hour ago, she said they were stolen by a cousin Aww. who was planning on selling them. And oh, then got that's horrible. And possibly destroyed out of spite by said cousin. Why? They were her pride and joy, and that was a big hurt. Can we find who the cousin is? Hello? Is there a way there's a backup? Well, it was the 90s, and I'm pretty sure it would have been on a floppy disk with the original designs and such. Hmm. And the VHS. That's it. That's not Do you fun. know the cousin who stole the tapes? Yes, that's my question. Yes, but no one has talked to him in a while. I'm not even sure if anyone uh, knows where he is. I hope they're okay. Goodness. Do you remember any of Ella's other shows? All I can remember was the adventures of Kate and Jean Joker. That was my favorite of hers. And I know she made at least four or five different shorts of full stories of them. Hmm. Throughout their conversation... It was clear that the searchers wanted to remain as respectful as possible to Ella's memory. That's the most important, yes. Are you surprised of the major attention towards your grandmother and her show? Yes. You know when you're a kid and you kind of don't expect these things? Mm -hmm. I just remember as a kid sitting there with her, watching her make them, and laughing and having fun. And now to see this as a big thing and see how people are responding towards her various works brings me a lot of joy. I just wish she were here to see this herself. Mm. It's nice to that see her memory That's very on. nice for them, yeah. I, I, I can imagine that's, that's really fulfilling to have. Hmm. Leftovers. Ooh. Fancy. Hmm. As of the writing of this video, that's where the search ends for now. We know the name of the show, the creator of it, Ella Flowers, and a rough idea of how many episodes there are. Even though the original tapes were destroyed by one of their family members, hope is not lost. The search team is still in contact with Ella's family, hmm. which is a promising lead. They also plan on visiting the church that Ella worked at in hopes of finding archives of the cartoon. That's interesting. Jankum Chick is planning on uploading more recordings in a few months. 
Let's go, McDonald's the man. The Dispatch article does mention a Christmas special featuring a dancing snowman. Hmm. This is the only other episode the team knows anything about. Hmm. If there are any future updates, I'll be sure to let you guys know. I'm not sure what to expect from here on out, but I'm personally extremely proud of the search efforts that have gone into finding the show. It's stuff like this that makes Lost Media such an awesome part of the internet. Until then, I'll catch you guys next time. Oh, is that it? Take care. Already? That felt extremely short. Wow. Now we're just gonna boogie with the music. Very groovy, very fitting, very nice. It's a good way to end it. This is like you would search free instrumental lo-fi beat. And there we have it. So first off for me personally that I believe that's my first ever blame it on Jorge video and that was a really good just introduction for me to their content because I thought it was extremely well done. I like the really chill music that didn't really overtake any of the um, speaking parts because sometimes it's like when you're watching a video for the first time and there's loud music you're like I don't even know what's going on so that was good. The different visuals provided and the different audios and stuff included in the video were also really good to back up certain claims and just general information. It's super interesting because I've reacted to the um, Pink Morning cartoon video and like the everything's coming up spring stuff. Um, and since then, there's obviously been a lot more information found out about the Pink Morning cartoon, which is really great. Blame It On Jorge mentioned a Discord server that's kind of dedicated to doing research on Pink Morning Cartoon, uh, which that's what I'm going to refer to it as, I apologize. Uh, there's an actual name for it now, which is also super cool. Uh, but anyways, the research team for that Discord, I think I either went on to that one or another one, and it was just really cool as Blame It On Jorge was kind of explaining that a lot of people put their time and like dedication into learning about the show. It's really nice that the people who have done research, like specifically on the people who were connected to Ella Flowers, did it in a way that wasn't very pushy and they were just genuinely curious about learning information. And the people who had the information were also super excited to like share it with people. And now that people primarily know the name and a couple of the different episodes for the show and just kind of the people who contributed to it, um, I think they're like, in general, there doesn't necessarily have to be a continued search. I think the people who like did their work to find out the newer information did an excellent job and they can, they can be at peace with knowing that they found a lot of good stuff. Of course, it's super unfortunate to hear that a cousin like smashed all the tape or just like lost and messed them up. That is super horrible because clearly Ella Flowers put like so much time into anime. I had no idea that they animated everything as well. That's really cool. I think I'll have to look back on this. One of my videos reacting to some of this stuff, I believe there was someone who knew a lot about the whole cartoon and maybe was related to Ella Flowers, ended up commenting on my stuff and I'll probably post a screenshot of that on the video or something if that's the case uh, but it's super cool to see how like so many people haven't gotten involved with the whole thing but that's essentially the reaction video so if you have anything that you would like for me to check out let me know and i'll get to watching it as soon as i can so thank you very much for watching bye